Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth's investigation. In the last episode, we got enough evidence to convict Alba of killing Manny Cochin, which in turn means that he can be tried not in his country, but in our country, which means we finally can get this guy. <coughs> and in this episode, I believe this is finally the finale. I don't care how long it takes. We're going to bust through this guy's testimony and see what the heck else he's hiding. Let us go. I am pumped. All right. Frankly, I still don't understand why I'm being placed under suspicion here. Under hip the, your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Cochin and I were fellow smugglers. What do you mean hypothetical? You freaking loud noises! Wait one second. Really sorry about that, but if it, it's too loud in my headphones, then you guys won't be able to hear it, but I will be able to like hear it blaring right now. But to get to the point, I was an alabaster the whole time. Liar! You were to steal Samurai at some point! So it's simply not possible for me to have killed him of all. That is my alibi. You weren't an alabast all the time, though. So that is your alibi? That is correct. It's simply not possible for me to have committed a crime above all. But what if the crime was actually in here? Now that we cleared that up, I'd appreciate it if you would move out of the way. Hold it. Sorry, ain't gonna work that way. Said, ho I said, hold it! <laughs> <laughs> nice, man! You are angry! What is it this time? I thought I told you I'd only allow one question. Hm. You did. But you still have yet to really answer my one question. What? Until you tell us the truth, I will refuse to budge an inch from where I'm standing. Are we, like, blocking the way from the door or something? Like, what are we even doing? Hm. Very well. I'll play with you just a little longer. Oh, you'll play with us, you'll play with us a lot longer. My judgment, as my subordinate and representative of this country's prosecutors. Wait, we're? We're the representative of this country's prosecutors? What about you? You are forbidden to lose. Thanks, lady. Of course, that is something I've understood from the start. That guy's the only, the one who ordered my father killed, isn't he? Yes, I believe so. The goal of the first Yatagrasu was the capture of the smuggling ring's leader. So we're gonna capture this guy. My father and Uncle Bod, and even Miss Yu at some point. Their legacy will live on through me! You're gonna be everything then? Good luck with that, Kay. I mean, like, it's good to have goals, it's good to have goals, but come on. So that's why we've got just to catch him, right? Okay? We will, I promise. Let's go, Edgeworth! We've got this, yo! Now, Ambassador Alba, let's have the, the truth now, shall we? No matter how many times you ask, my answer remains the same. Good luck with that, I know exactly what to press. I think. Frankly, still don't understand why I'm being presented on suspicion. In your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Coach and I were fellow smugglers. But to get to the point, I was an alibi the whole time. No, you were not exactly. And what exactly did you do while you were in Alabast? Okay, never mind. I guess we were supposed to answer. I'm gonna present that. I had a meeting with the Steel Samurai, and then I arranged a few fa files. Around that time, that thief who was sneaking in took me by surprise. Objection! We heard about that. Are you saying that it was the Master Second that made the first move? I thought we already argued this before. Yes, and it was after I was attacked, I hit him on the head with the Primatic Statue. Unfortunately, he died from the blow, but it was an act of justified self-defense. And we've heard all this before. Calling it that doesn't cover up what you really did. Uh, cover up? No, my boy, I'm not covering up anything. I'm telling the truth. You weren't planning to admit it, which is why you tried to frame the Seal Samurai. Okay. Sure, why not? If you weren't an ambassador, I'd be letting my VIP fly loose on you right now. I don't think that would I don't think that would actually um stop you, but okay. I'm terribly sorry that I didn't clean up the body better, but I'm a busy man. What'd you have to do? You're like meeting a superhero. I had a speech to give him to Rose Garden after that, you know. Objection! Yet despite that, you still had time to kill Mr. Koshin, didn't you? Objection! Whoa! That is a cool objection! Okay, I need to raise the volume, actually, because I want you guys to hear that. There, I destroy I'm destroying my ears because of you. Happy? Anyway, man is evil, and I'm sure you are familiar with the facts, but... Mr. Cochin was killed in Babal while I was all the way in Alabast. We've heard. Possibly I killed him in Babal. That is my alibi. I feel like friend of Ambassador Alba. It's one of those last two statements. I know it. 
It's not like the case of my father where he ordered someone to do it. The problem we have here is that we don't know what their exact relationship was. Indeed, if they had complete trust in each other, then there's no motive for murder. However, both men were very selfish, and I believe that is where, from where his motive arose. But why do we have about motives? I mean, he's talking about his alibi, not his motive right now. He insists that it's not possible for you to have killed Mr. Cochin in Babal. And you are correct. Oh? I thought you would put up more of a fight, but if you must concede to me... The only thing I'm conceding is that it's not possible for you to kill in Babal. I'm not conceding that your alibi is the truth. Oh, I see. However, no matter how you know, try, know that you can't crush my alibi. Hmm, you would be wise if not to underestimate a prosecutor of this country. I don't know what we're talking about. We'll see about that. So Mr. Cochin was a friend. So I feel like, all right, I'm going to first. One second. I'm gonna first do this. Where is it? I feel like it's a commemorative photo because he said that he never left um, Alabast. Okay, actually, I'm going to... He was not in Alabast the whole time. So I'm going to present this one. Objection! Nope. Directly contradicts this piece of evidence. I am wrong. Hm, not bad. It really matters to me either way. But are you really sure my statement contradicts that piece of evidence? It technically does! Don't, don't, don't do this to me! Edgeworth! Stop it! Well, it does! You can't chase him down with that kind of evidence! Yes, you can! What the heck are you talking about, man? I must think calmly and rationally about this. Because it's not impossible to take this man down. Alright, let's hope for the best here. Alright, let's try this again. Get a point, I was an alabaster the whole time. Do we do this? Security footage? I think it might be the security footage. Footage, maybe? Is it one of these two? I don't know, actually. I'm... Wait one second. Let me... I'm just gonna press everything and see what the heck happens, because I'm confused right now. Hold it. I'm beating this today! Being the leader of a smuggling ring while taking on duties of ambassadorship, don't you think that the combination is more than enough reason for suspicion? Then there is the matter of the crossbow arrows and the prime deck statues. Yeah, he's pretty obvious. Oh, that is a cool objection, man. All that is nothing more than your flight to fancy. What do you mean by that? He's lying about it. Under your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Cochin and I were fellow smugglers. I thought that was obvious. It's not a hypothesis. Earlier... We proved it to be true. Sorry. <laughs> well, let's leave that for one side for now. Because it doesn't change the fact that I have no motive. Oh? Oh, this is where we're gonna talk about the motive! Okay. Okay, I got this. If you want to suppose I had one, then why not? I'll indulge you. After all, this is nothing more than a silly game to me. But we... Uh, okay, I guess we can ask a question about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I suppose you are in a bit of a pickle. Very well. A game is no fun if the playing field isn't level. Therefore, I formally claim that I have no motive to kill. Now, let's see you disprove it. How can you stand there looking for when he knows he killed another human being? Well, I'm not going to stand by and watch him get away with his crimes. Let's see. In that case, what motive would I have to have killed my co-conspirator? That you are selfish? I'm positive it has something to do with something. Was it a counterfeit plate? Was he just a selfish person that wanted his counterfeit plate or something? Um... No, 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 Oh my god! I remember! It was because he saw the note, and he know he knew that he needed revenge or something from this! Objection. I get it! Wow, I was expecting it to be the last two. I was lucky I figured something out. Or, not really figured something out, but I guessed right. If you want to know, I believe you did have a motive to kill. It was because Mr. Cochin had betrayed you. But you had your own reason, too. Namely, you wanted to pin the smuggling all on him. Evil begets evil, and because you were trying to test each other, it turned into this mess. You guys were trying to test each other? I was thinking you guys just wanted to kill each other. Objection. I love that objection. I don't believe this. You have a bad penchant for telling tall tales, Mr. Prosecutor. And if you're not, then I suppose you have some proof to support your argument? 
I never use guesswork in my move my cases forward, except when we have to move our cases forward. It's been proven that this node was written by Mr. Cochin's hand. It has? Shall we take a look at it? Oh yeah, the guy, he he used the master second to steal. The content of the node is a request calling for a death of Alabaster's Prime Black statue. <laughs> by killing him and pushing all of the guilds for the smuggling onto him, you walk away spotless. I believe you understand what I'm driving at. You had more than a few reasons to kill him. What? You guys are both selfish! I love that. Ampi tells me he's not ending right now soon. He looks like he's like seven feet tall. Like, what the heck is this? Are you finished with your hypothesizing? He literally looks like a tree. Excuse me? Let's suppose I did have a motive. Even so, a motive or a thought alone can't kill. Isn't that right? I didn't expect him to resort to playing the semantics game with me. I mean, yeah, we still don't have proof that he killed, um, Cochin. It appears that this is where the real battle will begin. Now then, if you will excuse me. Wait. What? We're still not done! I told you at the very beginning, didn't I? You only get one question. This ain't good, this ain't good. Don't leave the airport! We'll take this to the airport if we have to! Ambassador Alva, if you could please give us just a little more of your time. It doesn't matter what kind of man man he was, he was my subordinate. Hey, so many subordinates. This is cool music. I've never heard this song track before and it's awesome. Oh man, this is beautiful, which is why I would like for us to figure out the real cause of his death. That is something for Babal to figure out, and something for which I have no relation to. Oh man, we got him there! Like, there's nothing we can do about that. Now he's even turning down a request from Ambassador Polano. He's just turning down ambassadors now! That's like, I don't know if that's international law or something, but that, I feel like it's illegal. Very sorry, but it seems that now, even now, my voice falls on deaf ears. There's no need for you to, to apologize, Ambassador Polano. Mm, you must find some way to stop him from leaving! It seems there are no further objections. In that case, please allow me to return home. NEVER! Oh wow, what the heck? Who was that? Please tell me I think I knew who that was. Oh, oh, whoa, it was K-Man! We're really going somewhere now. K? Like I said, Mr. Edgeworth, the Yatagarasu's legacy will live on through me. So, what are we gonna prove? Yes, but how do you suggest we stop him from leaving? You just leave that to me! Ambassador Alba, do you recognize this? No, and why should I recognize that tattered old organizer? Wait, where have I seen that before? That was Faraday's organizer! Holy crap! That was a clue to my father. Baron Faraday left for us. Did you say Baron Faraday? Oh man, he's sweating now. He doesn't like that name. We're getting him now! There's, there's like sweat coming out of his nose, man! Mr. Faraday's organizer? Don't tell me this is the one from the second KG-8 incident? Where do you even get these? She likes had to smuggle them out or something. The one in which you wrote about the Yatagarasu's key? Oh, that's not good. He knows about the key. Yeah. This organizer belongs to the prosecutor you had Miss Yu kill seven years ago. Hm. I have no idea what you are talking about. You say that like it was related to me. Inside this organizer, he wrote up every detail of every evil thing you did. Really? Dang. What an amusing little girl you are. But that sort of trickery won't work on me. If you won't believe me, then take a look at this. What? What are we looking at? What is that toy there? Uh, no one's gonna stop her? That's... What is it? This thieving device was used by the Yathagras, or rather, by my father. You have to say that to everybody? Even ambassadors? Seven years ago, he used this when he snuck into this embassy. What? Wait, he snuck into the embassy himself? These two pieces of evidence that hold information the Yathagras who dug up on you. If you go home now, I won't hesitate to send it all to Alabast, right behind you. We're blackmailing the guy with evidence? Why don't we just use the evidence right now? Little girl, get to the point. I want you to go up against Mr. Edwards one more time. If you win, then I'll hand over these two pieces of evidence. What evidence? Yathagarasu! Even the thorn in my side. Okay, does this organizer really contain any information on his dirty dealings? It's nothing case-breaking, really. Then why didn't you tell us this before? We could have used it! Ah, uh, then it was just a bluff. <laughs> I'm feeling we were spurring this, and holy crap, that's cool. Even if it was, we still can't let all the info my father and Uncle Bod found go to waste. Plus, the, just the existence of Little Thief is troublesome enough for him. 
Those two pieces. Aren't they keepsakes of your father? It's okay. I believe in Mr. Edgeworth. He'll come out on top in the end. Aw, she trusts us. We can't really lose now. Okay. When the going gets tough, someone's gotta be there to put the wind back in your sails. Is that what the other grass is supposed to do? After all this time, you're quite, still quite the feisty one. I applaud your powerful nature. So these two are gonna be like the greatest feminists of all time or something. Is she with us or something? I refuse to lose this too. Master Alba, you won't return home until you give us a further testimony. How dare you all, barring a person like me. Oh man, we're really getting on him now. Ambassador Alba, your testimony, if you please. We, he can't stop us, dang. All right, but this is the absolute last. Then even if you use all the power of Ambassador Polano's office, you won't stop me. How? I feel like that's still possible, but how? I can't let this opportunity K has created for me go to waste. All right, let's try one last time to see what the heck this guy has to offer now. Oh man. The last time I met with Mr. Cochin was here at the Theatrum Neutralis. That's exactly what we needed to hear. After that, I was in Alabas the rest of the time, as I stated earlier. In any case, I did not see Mr. Cochin again after that. So you see, there is no time span in which I could have killed him. Would you agree? I want to press this, the last statement, and the third statement he's just made. Now, since you people were practically begging, I'll allow you to question me. What an arrogant old man. I know, right? He even gave us a leveled playing field for some reason. Yes, but no matter. We can't allow this chance to escape us. I will warn you, though. You've reached the end of my patience. Waste my time with any inane questions and you will be punished. Holy! That is a lot of health that I lose! Holy crap. So any needless pressing or presenting will cost more than our case. Any needless pressing? I need to press, though! The only thing you can do is present the correct evidence. Understood? Of course. I don't intend to let him intimidate me. I know Mr. Cochin was killed before he returned to Babal, in which case there's only one statement in which I need to present the evidence. WHICH ONE?! <laughs> uh, last time I was coaching here at the Theatre Neutralis, after that I was in Alabas the rest of the time. In any case, I did not see Mr. Cochin again after that. There is no... I... There is not really not a graph to answer that don't answer anything. <laughs> That is awesome. So if the only place he met the victim was at this theater, then when was he killed? We know that Mr. Koshin did return to Babal alive, which means that the only time he could have been killed is when they were both here. That means that he was planning to kill Mr. Koshin from the start. We do have that picture in which we have him... We have the picture in which... We know where the murder weapon was. He could have killed Alba, or no, Alba could have killed Cochin during the Theatrum Neutralis because um, he had to have killed him in the Theatrum Neutralis with this weapon. So there was a time limit where he could have killed. If that made sense. I'd like you to take a look at this picture. It's a rather nice picture, isn't it? I know, right? It actually is pretty good. I was to commemorate the restoration of relations between our nations. Hey, it has a lot of freaking na rhymes. I like that. Oh, it's a commemorative, all right. One that captures the proof I need to show that it was you who committed the murder. Come again? This is the knife that killed Mr. Cochin. How did you not realize that? I see you recognize it as well as it should, for you were who brought it to the theater. Sure, why not? You hid it among the flowers you were to give to the Steel Samurai. Pretty epic version of an e of a way to kill somebody, I must add. Meaning that you killed Manny Cochin here at the theater. Oh, we got him there, man. Are we gonna see him like break into wood now? Nope. Nope. He is perfectly fine right now. It's time for me to catch my flight. No, you don't. Stop leaving. We're not through yet. Man, I love that objection. So awesome. It's game over for you, Mr. Edgeworth. I like this song, man. But I thank you for the entertainment. Mm, we don't have anything on this guy! No matter how passionately you orate, the end result will never be the same. I won't be returning to this country ever again. That's right. This man is an ambassador. And he has an extraterritorial- Yeah, yeah, extraterritorial. We still broke it, though! No matter how hard we chase after him, he won't be able to have tried in court. Yes, that's exactly the face you should be making. The face of a worthless cur. Oh god, he is angry. 
Did we really leave? Did we really lose? Now then, ladies and gentlemen, I must bid you farewell. Er, we got nothing on this guy. I... The courts... Is there no one who can lay a finger on this man? Is this really the end? Not so fast. Yeah! We... What the hell? Agent Lang? He's like with the freaking army of police right now, man. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Prosecutor. Wow, he is ru Holy crap! Wait, how many guys are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. He got the whole army of people on this guy! Get out of my way. My plane is scheduled to take off soon. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere. Mr. Alba. Mr. Alba, we're not even calling him Val's ambassador now. I'm through playing games with you people. You're the one who wanted to play games in the first place. You can't touch me. If you do, it would spark an international incident, Agent Lang. I think he's fine with that. Sorry, but no, it won't. Whoa! Wow. What? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Good job holding the fort down here until I got back. Hmm? So, Mr. Alba. Your diplomatic immunity has just been revoked. He can do that? Interpol can do that? What do you mean, revoked? Spare me this nonsense and let me through. Not so fast! Not so fast! Langsy says, before aiming for the throat, shoot a neck shield off first. What if the guy literally doesn't have- I guess if you chew the neck without a shield, then, uh, technically he would be dead anyway, so I guess it works out anyway. And I'm pretty sure you shouldn't chew a neck shield, it seems bad for your teeth. Interpol headquarters in the Imperial household of the Kingdom of Alabast. Took a while to get things rolling, but they finally moved on it. You could do that?! You can destroy the extraterritorial rights just like that? Wow, it sounded like freaking Porky Pig for a second. Like, extra movement rights. The Imperial Household? There's an Imperial Household for this? You. What have you done? You have been relieved of your duties as a. We fired this guy? You fired this dude, man! That's impressive! What? 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 He's no longer an ambassador. Wow. Effective today, effective right now. That's why he called him Mr. And you have Mr. Prosecutor's videotape to thank for this. The video that you have to grasp you protected? You can't be arrested simply because you're an ambassador. In that case, I thought I'd strip you of that title. You underestimated me, a descendant of the founder of the Tainment philosophy, Lang Z. Yet no one's heard of the guy. 4,000 years of deeply entrenched connections and networks around the world. Wow, that's actually impressive. Have really paid off. Oh, wow, he's old now. He got old. It can't be. I don't believe this. My ambassadorship has been revoked. Wow, nice job, Lang. You came into clutch, man. Looks like you're finally coming to grips with your new standing. He's just a regular person now. Looks like he's turned docile again. He's probably in shock from the loss of his shield. <laughs> but the shame. I had so wanted to use my VIP on him. But you can now because he's not an ambassador. Why is this happening to me? I'm just a hardworking, honest ambassador. Do you really think you can still pull that on us now? We've already ripped away the mask and... The hell? My my entire computer just like Why my computer like restart all of a sudden? Like my computer just restarted. I don't know if that changed the video or anything. It says it's continuing recording, so I have no idea. Like I lost all my files for a second and then they just reappeared. I don't know what just happened, but I don't want I'm charging my computer because I'm scared now. Oh man, he's gone back to He's gone Silver Sand again! Oh god, he is! Wait, what is he about to do? Objection. Oh man! He's not done now! No, I won't be stopped now! Oh man, man, we still haven't gotten him yet, dude! He still intends to fight us? So what if I'm no longer an ambassador? You still don't have any evidence on me! The fact remains that you cannot arrest me! <laughs> I expected no less from you, the boss of the smuggling ring! Well, the rest is up to you, Mr. Pros- HEY, JERK! But understood. Wow, you're a jerk. <laughs> you say that I killed Mr. Cochin in the theater? But even if it's true that there was a knife in my bouquet, I left that bouquet in the theater. So anyone could have taken it out from there and used it, right? 
Besides, the claim that he was killed here itself is odd. After all, wasn't his body discovered in Babal? Are you claiming that I carried his body all the way over there? <laughs> preposterous. Yeah, we have no proof on that. I'll be the one to prove whether or not it's preposterous or not. Oh man, we're really getting on him now. Ex-Ambassador Alba, are you ready? Because this is no game. This is war. We are ready, man. I would love to finish this up today, but we're gonna figure this out in the next episode. So in the next episode, we're gonna finally get Alba. I hope. I was hoping this is the finale. It's really not. Next episode, it's gonna be the finale. This is 962 signing off. Hope you have a great time in your life. I'll see you all next time.